welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adarius. I'm the editor-in-chief of Drive One Reviews. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. But I would like to give a special thanks to Dateland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram for providing with the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. If you're in the market for a Jeep, you can come check out Dateland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. But let's talk about the Grand Cherokee here. This is all new for 2021. Now Jeep has finally offered a three-row option. So now you guys can get rid of your old Grand Cherokee version and they can upgrade here to the three-row. But let's talk about the front styling here of the Grand Cherokee L. This thing looks freaking fantastic. It also has a luxurious interior. Let's talk about these headlights here. They come standard even on the base model of the Grand Cherokee L. My model here is the Overland trim. It does have that four by four with the adaptive suspension. But let's talk about these headlights. They're full LED with the LED turn signal in daytime run light. And my model also comes with these LED fault lights here. There's front parking sensors with some chrome accents here. There's also these chrome recovery hooks here. There's also these seven slot uh, Jeep grille there, which is an icon, of course. There's the Jeep emblem here on top of the hood. But I want you guys to tell me what you guys think about the exterior styling. I think it looks very handsome here in the front fascia and Jeep did a fantastic job. But making our way to the side profile, taking a look at these tires and wheels here. These are two 6550 tire. They're wrapped in this 20 inch rim design. Keep in mind guys, I did show you guys a Grand Cherokee L review already, but that was the limited model. And I wasn't a big fan of those wheels with the five spoke, but these look even better here. We have this chrome outlining with the dark gray insert there. There's the Grand Cherokee badge with the American flag here, which I think is a nice touch. There's this LED sight marker here on the mirror cap with some more chrome trim. And there's this chrome trim, it starts here and it goes all the way to the other side of the vehicle and it finishes off on the other side of the mirror there. And like I mentioned, my model is the Overland trim, so it does come with this adaptive suspension. So this thing will lower and raise itself. This has best in class uh, ground clearance. This thing gets 10.9 inches of ground clearance if you go for the adaptive suspension. Here at a standard setting, you get 8.5 inches of ground clearance. And up top, my model does have this large panoramic sunroof with these aerodynamic roof rails. There's also some chrome trim here on the door handles. The wheelbase is at 121.7 inches with an overall length of 204.9. And there's also this large a rear glass here so the passengers in the third row can have a really good uh, view out of the third row there looking at these tail lights here they're full led i like that they're very sleek and very slim which is a turn signal reverse light and brake light which is a full led like i mentioned there's that chrome bar it goes to the other side of the vehicle there's also for that rear view camera mirror the third brake light lives up top it does have a shark fin antenna with this rear wiper i wish jeep would have just integrated underneath the rear spoiler there to look a little cleaner back here but it looks really good as well there's the jeep uh, badge there over here there's the l badge with the 4x4 and there's the backup camera there and this is the overland uh, trim like i mentioned there's some chrome here at the lower part of the uh, bumper with these rear parking sensors and once you remove this piece here jeep says you can tow up to 6200 pounds and my model does have dual chrome tip exhaust open up the cargo back here this does come with a power opening tailgate once it opens up it reveals 17.2 cubic feet of space as you guys can see here my camera bag is right here you can also close the, the trunk via this button here but you have to hold it for like maybe two or three seconds there's some led lights back here and underneath here Jeep does give you some underfloor storage and also you can power fold the third row down just by clicking the button one time and they fold down in a fashionable sense. Once you fold down everything, Jeep says you get 84.9 cubic feet of space and there's a little bit of side compartment storage here and there's also a 12 volt. Overall, let's hop into the interior of the Jeep Grand Cherokee L. Sitting in the interior of the Jeep Grand Cherokee L Overland trim, looking at this interior here, Jeep did a fantastic job here with this interior. My, mo my model also has the Macintosh sound system, which sounds pretty good. But reaching out here to shut the door of the Grand Cherokee L and starting up the vehicle here. My model has the uh, Pentastar V6. Unfortunately, my model doesn't have that V8 underneath the hood. As you guys can see, you're greeted by this large digital display here. This also comes on the base model. Also cycle through it via this button here. It does display this and you can also customize it through different stuff. You can also lower and raise this vehicle because my model does have the adaptive suspension. There's also this massage function here. Once you press the button there, you're going to get a massage. It also has a waterfall, a lower back, ex extend, rock climb. So plenty of different massage functions that you can use here on the Grand Cherokee L, which I think is a nice luxury touch. There's this aluminum accent to door handle here. There's two person room receipts, nice wood trim. It is auto up, auto down for all for windows. Your mirror controls are here. Like I mentioned, it's auto up, auto down for all for windows. There's your lock controls down there. A nice area here does the rest of your elbows. Down here's gonna be additional storage and cup holder space. And like I mentioned, this does have the Macintosh sound system. There's electronic parking brake, your hood latch, your headlight controls also with the dimmer controls there and this is a power tilt and telescoping wheel 
There's paddle shifters here. There's the turn signal and automatic high beam switch there. One more stock is right there. I do like the Jeep emblem here on the airbag cover. This does have adaptive cruise control there. There's more that would trim and some aluminum painted trim. The steering wheel feels nice in my hand and my model does not have a heads up display. Looking up here, there's gonna be some buttons for the automatic start stop, lane departures, stability control, hazard switch, also for the parking sensors. This is the Uconnect 5 system. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Wireless, uh, but for some reason, it's telling me to reg register my phone. If you guys wanna see how the Apple CarPlay looks, you have to look at my previous review on the Grand Cherokee L, but that was the limited edition. Going here to the um, you connect five system maps here very snappy map as you guys can see it's very snappy here and it does tell you live traffic right now before I came here that the track is actually just like this very slow um, at a low uh, pace you can also center it back to it you like uh, going here to the home screen the trust response is just fantastic this also has a heated steering wheel function you can also click this to go into your heated steering wheel function or cool seats or you can have the or you can press the physical button down here like I mentioned, three level heated and cool seats. Uh, the cool seats work really good. I haven't tested out the heated seats just yet. Um, there's a little bit of the red and blue lighting here to signify that this is for the fan speed. There's a volume and tune knob here. The screen is very bright uh, on its own. The air vents up there. The dashboard has this nice leather. As you guys can see, the Macintosh sound system uh, pokes out on the, on the dashboard there. There's your drive mode selector here. Right now is in auto. You can put it into snow, uh, sand and mud, and also rock. As you guys can see, it does show you here on the actual uh, digital display there. You can also put into sport here if you would like. And like I mentioned, my model does have the adaptive suspension. So as you guys can see, it is lowering the vehicle. Once you go into a sport mode, it does turn off the traction control. Opening up this, it does reveal my iPhone 12 Pro Max. There's also a wireless phone charger here. And there's gonna be a USB-C, also with the USB port. If you guys hear that uh, rumbling sound, that's the air suspension because it's lowering the vehicle here. As you guys can uh, hear, that's the airbags. There's also a 12 volt here, closing this back off. Uh, this here houses the eight speed automatic transmission. As you guys can see, it does have a backup camera with trajectory with distance markers and there's rear parking sensors. Switch it over here to uh, neutral and again to go into drive and switching it back all the way to the left to go into park. There's a hill descent control there. It's also a fur low. There's two cup holders here. My bottle water fits just fine. The center armrest here is gonna be nice and padded. There's some nice stitching here. Open up this, it does offer a two level storage, which I think is really nice. So you can hide some items here at the lower part of the uh, storage bin. The seats in here, they're supportive and comfortable. It also has the Overland badge uh, stitched in the actual seats. Nice perforated leather because like I mentioned, it is uh, three level heated and cool seats. And above me, this is how you open up this large panoramic sunroof here. Just hold this button here and it'll open by itself. Very large panoramic sunroof. It's gonna be LED lights throughout the cabin. And my model also comes equipped with this rear view camera mirror, which I think is a nice touch to give this vehicle really good visibility now that Jeep has added that third row. And the vehicle is over 200 inches. There's some wood trim here on the dashboard. Nice to touch materials down here. Open up the glove compartment. It does have a nice opening style here. But overall, I'm very impressed with Jeep's new Grand Cherokee L's interior, also with the exterior styling. But let's hop into the second and third row. Getting into the second row here of the Jeep Grand Cherokee L here, the door opens nice and wide. So if you guys have any children or a child seat that you want to put back here, you can definitely uh, put it back here because the door opens nice and wide. As you guys can see here, my model does have the actual captain's chair. So we're getting back here. Jeep says you get around 39 inches of legroom here in the back seat of the Grand Cherokee L in the second row. The materials back here are going to be a nice soft touch material. There's also this manual sunshade here, which I think is a nice touch with this uh, wood trim. Also with this aluminum door handle with, the, with some more aluminum trim here at the lower part of the door panel. Nice stitching. Your window controls are there. It is these lock controls here. So you can also lock the vehicle just in case your parents were to get out or whatnot. And down here is going to be for the Macintosh sound system with a cup holder and additional storage. It's going to be nice and padded here. This is air vent here on the side pillar. And above me, there's going to be this LED light with this grab handle with this large panoramic sunroof here that let light into the cabin. There's two map pockets back here. As you guys can see, there's one over there on the driver's side. There's three level heated seats back here. I'm pretty sure if you go for another trim level, you can probably get cool seats here in the second row. That's your own set of air vents back here with two USB-Cs with two USB ports. But the household outlet right there, there's a little bit of storage here with two more cup holders because you get cup holders in the actual door pockets. And it's also this nice alleyway to get into the third row. And the armrests here, I wish they were a little bit wider, but they do fit my large elbow uh, just fine. You can also slide the seat forward and back to give the third row passengers a little bit more leg room. And there's also this recline function here with this handle so you can tilt uh, back on a long road trip. 
But getting to the third row really quick, Jeep gives you this handle here. Once you pull this handle, the seat will lift up and you just push it out of the way. As you guys can see, it does reveal a large alleyway to get into the third row. But getting back here really quickly, Unfortunately, this one does not come equipped with a third seat here in the middle, so this only sits two people across. The materials are gonna be a nice soft touch material. There's this cup holder here, there's your air vents on the side. I like this large uh, window here, so if you're claustrophobic, you don't have to worry about being claustrophobic on a long road trip. And there's two little Easter eggs here on the window. There's a USB-C with a USB port. Also, you get the same thing over here with the air vent and you get one little Easter egg there. You can also uh, catapult this seat forward if you would like. And back here in the third in the, in the third row, Jeep says you get around 30 inches of legroom. We can also ask this passenger here to slide the seat forward if you would like. But overall, Jeep did a fantastic job here with the second and third row of the Jeep Grand Cherokee L. Taking a look underneath the hood here of the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, Jeep will offer this with two carryover powertrains. My model has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. This powertrain produces 293 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. It's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy from this V6 is rated at 18 in the city, 25 on the highway and 21 combined. And Jeep says you can tow up to 6,200 pounds. If you guys want that V8 model that Jeep offers, that's gonna be a $3,000 charge. And that makes 357 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. And Jeep says that can tow up to 7,200 pounds. And as the Jeep Grand Cherokee L sits here, this one weighs 5,068 pounds. So this thing is pretty heavy. So starting off in the Grand Cherokee L here, my model has the Pentastar underneath the hood, which is a 3.6 liter V6. It makes 293 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque, and it's hooked up to an eight speed automatic transmission. And me personally, I would just cough up the $3,000 and just get the uh, 5.7 liter Hemi because that makes 357 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque, which is more horsepower and more torque. And you can also tow more if you go for the V8 model. You can tow up to 7,200 pounds. That's what Jeep says. And my model says the Overland trim, it does have the quadro track, uh, basically the adaptive suspension. So you can lower this vehicle from 8.5 inches to uh, 10.9 inches. So one, so best in class off-road height, basically, because no other competitor in the segment offers 10.9 uh, inches of ground clearance. The steering feeling here is very playful. You can feel the front tires are doing great visibility. I think the Grand, the Grand Cherokee L is one of the best three-row SUVs that I drove so far for 2021. The interior is just out of this world. This is a 10.1 Uconnect uh, system here. And it's also rides on a new Giorgio platform. So it's an Alfa, uh, Alfa Romeo platform that Jeep uses. But that V6, it does sound really good. It could go for a V8, personally speaking. It has a nice rumble from it. Um, once the dealership gets a V8 in, in stock, I'll bring you guys that V8 review. But I feel like the V6 could be, it could offer a little bit more power. Maybe if Jeep would have went with a turbocharged engine, I think that would have been a little bit better. Because keep in mind, this vehicle weighs 5,068 pounds. So this thing is pretty heavy and it can fit your family in comfort. You get 30 inches of legroom in the third row and you get 39 inches of legroom in the second row. So plenty of uh, legroom to scratch out on a long road trip. And there's this large panoramic sunroof uh, um, on top of me. So one thing I'm gonna say, if you guys go for the base uh, Laredo model, you also get this uh, 10 inch display here, which I think is a nice touch. Some other competitors might even charge you for a digital display, but Jeep gives it to you as standard equipment. And to basically adjust the elephant in the room, they're not called FCA anymore, they're called Stellantis, so they changed their name, which I think Stellantis, Stellantis sounds like a really good name instead of FCA, in my opinion. But the steering feel in here is really good. It handles really well. Uh, visibility out of the Grand Cherokee here from these large side mirrors is really good. But let's do a launch here. I know the V6 sounds really good. Uh, let's talk about the fuel economy before we do the launch. It's right at 18 in the city, 25 on the highway and 21 combined, pretty decent fuel economy. But let's put into a sport mode here and I'm gonna turn off the traction if I can find, no, forget it, I'm gonna leave the traction on. So I'm gonna brake boost it. Yeah, it gets up to speed really quick. Uh, I have to see what the V8 model is like. I think the V6 is really a good, adequate power for most people that don't want to get a thirsty V8 because I feel like the V8 might be a little bit more thirstier compared to this V6 here. But this car is just so smooth. The ride quality in here is really good, especially with the adaptive suspension. I, test the, I tested the um, limited model maybe two weeks ago and I was impressed with that as well. But I'm putting it into this auto mode here and just let this vehicle cycle between uh, the way that I drive. 
but this thing is really good. This also has Jeep's, Jeep's driver's assistance, which includes adaptive cruise control. This does have lane to keep, uh, lane keeping assist, lane departure with four collision warning. And my model does come equipped with this rear view camera mirror here. So you can basically see out of this vehicle just in case you had a lot of people and a lot of stuff in the second and third row, which I think is a nice uh, technology. You get that same uh, rear view camera mirror in the Ram 1500 if you guys go for a limited trim or you maybe can option it in on a lower trim level. But this thing handles really good. You can fit your family in here, like I mentioned, plenty of space, good technology. It does, this also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as wireless, so you can, so you can connect two phones uh, at the same time. So if your spouse wants to play some music, they can definitely do that as well. And Jeep says this can tow 6,200 pounds here, but let's use the paddle shifters here. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back into a sport mode here because I put it into auto. And then this, there's a slow car that's turned in front of me. Great. <laughs> and that's second gear. The paddle shifters are responsive, but they're very small. So I have really big hands and the paddle shifters are really small. And a little side note, guys, there's no suicidal peacocks today in this, in this Jeep Grand Cherokee review. Last, <laughs> last time a peacock tried to run in front of the, run in front of the car when I was filming. Um, but yeah, so there's no suicidal peacocks in, uh, in this film. But the paddles are very responsive. They really, they do a really good job of downshifting. But overall, if you guys are looking for a luxurious three-row SUV, and you guys are tired of the Hyundai, Kia, and Ford products, and the other competitors in the segment, I think Jeep has a really good offering here with the Jeep Grand Cherokee L. Starting price here for the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L is at $54,995 with the options and accessories, including destination, the Grand Cherokee L Overland sticks for $63,059. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next review.